You'll never master skateboarding similarly. Like, I don't think you can really master a siege. <gasps> Let's go! Macy J kind of came out of nowhere. When somebody says like, bro, I just got Macy Jade, you just died to some dumb stuff that you now will use for the rest of the time you play this game. I got it, I got it, I've been trying that forever. That's the spawn beat counter all the way down to skylight, baby. I've been trying that for weeks, chat, for weeks. To Macy J, the world just makes more sense with wood, wheels, and grip tape beneath his feet. But after he broke his ankle in a skateboarding accident, he faced a dilemma. It was referred to as the zombie foot. The whole thing was yellow. Macy's primary creative pursuit was put on hold and he was getting restless. I ended up breaking my foot, so that kind of like stopped for two months and all I did was play Siege. Oh, One out, four remain. I find you, find you, find you. Melee, melee. Oh my Whoa. God. Rainbow Six Siege may be a shooter, but there are a lot of things that set it apart from a game like Overwatch or CSGO. Team composition is more important than in other games, sure, but so is map awareness. Whoa. I killed two of them! Holy shit! Siege asks players to find creative ways to get around the map while demanding they make quick, precise decisions. As far as video games go, it's not that far from skateboarding. It was tactical, but creative. Precise, but freewheeling. It was exactly what Macy was looking for. Well, that is like the greatest injury to ever happen to me. Only because uh, it brought Siege to me. Macy took the Siege immediately, and his creativity led to some moments that seemed almost impossible. Smoke, smoke. Uh, do we have any drinks? Macy had a knack for creating compelling, how the fuck did he do that plays, which made for some pretty incredible content. I did it! I did it! By merging high level play with his natural creativity, Macy gave the Siege community exactly what they didn't know they wanted. Oh no. All right, I hate you chat. I hate you all. I don't wanna hear a word out of anybody, okay? And it all started with a bit of C4 and what the community considered to be the worst operator in the game. I can hear someone. Oh, there's, wait, oh, he's there's a, a shield coming. Yeah, it's coming. Right on the stairs. Ah! Ah! Four wow. I thought that was him nice. coming in. Wow, that works really well. Macy came to Siege while the game was still new. Most people were still trying to figure out the game's more complicated mechanics, and his innovations were a breath of fresh air. He had the right ideas at the right time. Do you just really love your C4 now? His inventive strategies and tactics fundamentally changed the way the game was played. He sees him now and the C4 kill is flying. Uh -oh, We're gonna have a uh -oh. double kill to the end of the round and they're both gonna go. Macy's inventive strategies also changed the way pros played at the highest level. Take Team Empire at the Raleigh Major, for example. We're not saying that they saw Macy defuse a bomb through a wall and followed suit, but hey, he did do it first. Oh my god. Please. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is, this is, okay. When people say like, bro, I just got Macy Jade or like, I'm gonna Macy Jade this guy, it's because a lot of people will watch his videos and see these really goofy, cheeky angles that you don't know existed, like from underneath you or from above you. And it's just like, I didn't know that you could do that. There's so many fun and quirky little spots that he finds. Uh, for his place, the diffuser near a bomb is destroyed. No way. No way. No way. No way. Macy's innovations influenced the pros. And if you want to see those pros at their best, make sure to tune into Ubisoft's US Nationals 2019. You can find out more information in the links in the description below. Anyway. Macy took his what-if mindset cultivated by years of skateboarding and applied it to Siege. What if I shot out this wall, dropped down to the ledge, and hopped across the map? See something cool, chat, that I just learned? 
What if I positioned my yokai drone perfectly on this windowsill and just picked off the dudes running outside? Oh, it might be the heck of a drone knock and stuff. I have to crack the glass. What if I fired a concussion grenade through a vent while my teammate breached the bomb site? Let's go! With every new patch, map, or operator, Macy opened people's eyes to the cool shit you could pull off with just a little bit of practice. Should be around relative to the hatch around there. So, we're gonna rotate back up. We're gonna hold tiny, tiny pixel. Oh no, what if I miss and I'm C4 in the vigil? Baby! Easy clap. Couple that with his genuine and positive personality, and his channel exploded in popularity. <gasps> I got it! I got it! It got to the point where his knack for introducing weird but impactful strategies got his name turned into a verb. Macy J kind of came out of nowhere, and he was extremely friendly, he was really nice, humble, down to earth, and extremely helpful. You came for the insane gameplay. Let's go! Oh my God. Oh my God. But you stayed for his goofy personality and the fact that he doesn't take himself too seriously. One friendly oh. operator remaining. Two one HP. Op four eliminated. But that popularity can also be a double-edged sword. I can't even play the game now without people recognizing me. Uh, and it's great and all, like, I'm grateful for it, but, you know, people can, uh, try and be toxic. It's fucking me, Siege! Ah! And in trying to make Siege a full-time gig, Macy has been pretty open about the wall that a lot of streamers and content creators run into. The thing is, I don't see it this, like, if I, if I don't feel like going to work, I can still go to work and do a good job. I don't think that's the case with streaming. If I don't feel like streaming, I don't think I can do a good job. The way that Macy approaches Siege allows everyone to feel welcome. After thousands of hours, he's still learning new things about the game, and his community is along for the ride, learning with him. Oh, I kicked her! I kicked her chat! He wouldn't call himself an expert. He's just a dude who approaches each match with a fresh set of eyes, the same way he'd approach skateboarding. And while the grip tape, wood, and wheels aren't under his feet as often these days, whenever Macy jumps onto a server, the spirit of his first creative love is always with him. Oh my god, Macy! Uh, oh, really? <laughs> Macy, dude! What happened? You almost got kicked. To Macy J, uh, is the fucking thing in the shot because it is right in front of the camera. It is not in the shot. We do this every time. I know, but I'm afraid, dude. It's like right in front of the camera. <laughs> I know, but you've gotta I'm not an expert, man. You gotta you gotta let you gotta help the little people.